that. Anyway, so let's have some beverage. Okay. Uh, so, back in 1970, 1946. Cheers, welcome to 1946. That's right. Um, the number one beverage was root beer, and it was actually um, Hire's root beer, which is no longer made, so we weren't able to get it. We couldn't even get it on, like, Amazon or something. So I went with the A&W because A&W was actually um, a company in 1902. And they were so around, they just weren't the number one. 1919. Oh, is that what it says, 1919? Okay. Well, in 1919, I stand corrected. Oh, it was their restaurants that opened then, 1902. So, um, root beer it is tonight. Oh, uh, okay. That's a bit better. And supposedly, it was quite the rage. And all of the women that were um, cooking at home absolutely loved it. That was the year that they came out with the instant potatoes. And they were quite the rage. So, I make them quite often. Yeah, so we thought we'd better include those in 1946. And the number one dinner of choice was the baked pork chop <coughs> with um, baked carrots and the mashed potatoes. So that's what we're enjoying this evening. So yeah. That's so, yeah. So I used all, <laughs> all the spices, everything that they said. I, I followed the recipes from, when I've been doing these, from the old vintage cookbooks from the time. The time. From the time. And you never have to ask Megan twice if she wants potato, <laughs> mashed potatoes anyway. <clears throat> she, one of her faves. Fresh ones, <clears throat> fresh mashed potatoes are obviously the best, but these ones, I mean. We had good. to do this tonight because, because we did. No, but I mean, like, we, I. We've done them before. Yeah, I eat them a fair amount. So, this is our, right, 75 years ago today. I don't know if they have enough butter in them for you. Do you need more butter? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this tastes like something they would have served. Yes. Yeah. Back in 1946. Well, um, one of the other popular ones, but this was the number one, was um, meatloaf. Yeah. Mm. And so, I'm not a big meatloaf gal. Yeah, and they did it with not just hamburg either. They did it with you know the mixture of I think uh, the ground pork and the ground lamb and the whole the whole lineup. I've been learning a lot about you know the older cooking. Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mashed potatoes are very hot. They are. You're right. You can see all the steam. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the steam. And believe it or not, the number one candy bar that year was Almond Joy. And that's not one of our favorites, but we got it just for this. Just for We you. got it. But we got it. It's funny to see, though, so many of the things that they mm. still use. And, and, like, this is... The same font and the same colors that they used, you know, back then. And what they first came out with um, was the Mounds Bar. And that was like 15 years before that, with, which was the coconut. It was exactly the same candy bar without the almonds on top. And that packaging is almost exactly the same too still. And it's almost exactly the same, except but it's done in red. I remember as a kid going trick-or-treating, and you'd get those. And as a kid, I never really liked them. But they were one of my father's favorites, so he liked when we got those. We used to give a lot of people, used to give those stupid sweet tarts and Smarties back then. Though. <coughs> The stupid people always gave out stupid 
Well, back then, though, people would bag up, you know, like their own candy, too. Oh, like, I mean, bags? Yeah, and it wouldn't be that uncommon to go to a house where someone would have made popcorn and put a bag of popcorn, like, in a baggie. And you they mean, like, have... they were making the candy? No, like, they would make up little bags. Like, they'd make up homemade popcorn and put it in a baggie, but they didn't have the Ziplocs then. They would just, the fold-over ones. Or they would make, um... You know, they'd get, like, um, you know, a big bag because they didn't have all the little bags of things back then. Right. And so that's why you didn't get so many candy bars because, like, they didn't have the little fun size. And somebody wasn't going to give every, you know, every kid that came to the door a candy bar. And the candy bars used to be huge back then. Oh, so the, so they would unwrap it and cut pieces of candy and put a little goodie bag? Is it, or Not really the candy bars, but they would do it. Like, they'd get, like, a big bag of, um, like, candy corn. And then they'd put like some candy corn and maybe like a dum-dum or a lollipop or something like that that was individual. And they'd put though, you know, make like a little bag and put them, you know, maybe like a little thing of sweet tarts or. Nowadays people are like, don't eat anything that's open. And... No, I know. I mean, back then sometimes people would give you like candied apples or. You know, a lot of homemade cookies, yeah. they'd put them, and then they'd put them in little baggies or, you know, wrap them up in foil or whatever. Back when you could trust thy neighbor. Yep. The good old days. Plus, some of the years when I was younger, we actually would go trick-or-treating, like, even if we didn't live on a military base, my father would take us, like, into military housing. Because they figured you could trust all those people, you know? That's where me and my friends would go, like, when we were, like... 12, 13. It was like one we, right after the <clears throat> other, you know? Yeah. When you'd let us, you know, go off on our own to do that. And they were usually all one floor, too. Navy housing. So it wasn't like you had a lot of stairs you had to go up or... Yeah. So even though, even the years we didn't live in Navy housing, we, you know, we didn't live far from it. So we'd go over there for trick-or-treating. There wasn't much meat. Let me make sure the comments are on. Oh, what's up, random guy, dude? Sorry, I didn't see your comment till now. Wasn't much meat on there. No, take another one. There thin little porkies. I did say they were the thin ones. But this recipe called for um, you you know um, douse them down in olive oil and you use oregano and um, garlic, onion powder. Um, salt and pepper but yeah it's kind of fun to, to use some of the old recipes mm. <clears throat> random guy dude said i guess my brother's cats aren't scared of me anymore is that what you said aren't scared of him looks like my brother's cats aren't scared of me anymore that's good mm. you can never cats are so unpredictable mm -hmm. are they kittens or cats i love our cat but he lives in the basement. <laughs> He's so funny, though, when he likes to play. He loves shadows. That's his favorite thing. Yeah. We're going to try to do um, your birth year, Random Guy Dude, on Monday. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing, though, but it's going to be fun. He said, I don't know why the comments are like blinking up and going away so fast. He said, I think they're kittens in terms of age, but they're pretty big now. Like you wouldn't know they're young just by looking at them. Yeah, cats do grow up in like like four months. They're all of a sudden a cat. <laughs> yeah, faster than a dog. Yeah. Dogs really take a full year to at least, you know, get close to their size. Even little dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tatum was little for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> and she was um, little when we got her. She's a little thing. We still love her just as much. Hmm. So... so go, go ahead. I was just saying, it's so weird how... Different animals, like, age like that. Like, like Meatball, our peacock, 
is like I think just about two years old now. Mm -hmm. And he's just now getting like looks like close a peacock. To, yeah. Like his feathers. How long do they live? I have no idea. I think they live years a long or time. something. Peacocks live a long time. Yeah, they're um, they're beautiful though. His feathers are really just coming in beautifully. But it's so annoying because <clears throat> you can't get a picture with him. Yeah. So your animals have the best names, I swear. <laughs> My good man, Meatball. I know. I think um. I think his original mate's name was like Lasagna or something like that. Was it something like that? I don't know, but you can name them a food name as long as you're never gonna eat them. <laughs> yep. We didn't name him. He came named. I named. So we have two roosters. My brothers named the older rooster. They named him Dewey. And then I named the baby rooster, who's Dewey's son. I named him Rue. Like R. Uh. Whoa. Like R O O, like rooster. But I thought it was funny because I'll call him like Rui. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be like Junior, like right. Rui, yeah. Yeah, and so it's Dewey and Rui. And That's so funny. When I named him Ru, that was like my answer. I thought it was funny. Isn't in um, uh, Winnie the Pooh, isn't the baby um, kangaroo, isn't that Roo too? I think so. Kanga and Roo or something. That's so good. Um, and then my favorite little red chicken is just Little Red. Little Red. Yeah. Just what I call her because it's easy to... And she answers to it. She loves it. <laughs> so we did make a dessert this evening as well. You spelt it wrong, though. <coughs> and their third cousin, Louis. <laughs> Lasagna. Louisanya. Louisanya. So I made um, the traditional, uh, which was the dessert of the year. Bread pudding. I love bread pudding. Like, so, a lot. Um, I don't know if you want ice cream or whipped cream on it, but we no. have both. No, 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 no. I like it straight up. Straight up. Straight up on the... Yeah, she was cooking this earlier, and it had the kitchen smell, and that's so good. That's what she was saying. But she used sweet bread. This time I did, yep. She used, like, Portuguese sweet bread so to make the bread pudding. So it's probably a little sweeter than usual. You can have plenty more. I'm not trying to short shortchange you here. May I have a fresh fork? You can. That's what I did. I brought out those fresh ones. It does smell really good, though. You guys want to smell it? Mm. Probably should have warmed it back up a little bit, but it's okay. Right. Do you want me to warm it up? No, it's still good. Mmm, came out good. Meg really likes the um, Portuguese sweet bread anyway. Yeah, every... Oh, the hills is here? Really? Must have got out of work early. Isn't it past your bedtime? It's like 3 o'clock. I know. What shift do you work if you're up till 3 o'clock in the morning? <sighs> well, nice to see you again. Yeah. I'm sure you could use a coffee if you haven't slept since we last talked. Mm. Nearly midnight in England, I believe. <laughs> the hill said twice in one day. I thought it was closer to like 3 a.m. right now. I could look it up. <laughs> in it. Well, I think it was 3 a.m. when he rewatched it last time he said. Them. I think there's six hours difference from us, right? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, the hill said it's midnight ish. Oh, wow. You were right, random guy, dude. Mm. Well, well, happy midnight ish. Yeah. So you, we had you for dinner earlier. He, he was having dinner at work, right? Somebody Richard said? was having dinner. Oh, at it was work. Richard. 
Right. So we're having some bread pudding. And it's very good. Did we mention in the stream earlier how we had... So when we did the video, I don't think we mentioned it when we did the Hills' birth year. But mom looked up like British mm. recipes of that year to try and do it like... I was going to do it for you like... For, you know... But was it wasn't it like some crazy stuff or something? Yeah, it was. Um, it was weird, and and there wasn't a whole lot for that year. Yeah. But I did forget to do one thing, and I still have it in the other room. We got the original baked Lay's potato chips that we were supposed to do in your stream. That was too. for my year. Oh, was it? I thought. Yeah. Oh, maybe that was for your year. Okay. Yeah, it was for mine. Sometimes when I'm gathering up the things, I'll put them, like, say, in the dining room or whatever, and then I forget to bring them out, and I'm like, afterwards, I'm like, damn it. Extreme relaxation said, I'm enjoying this time travel series. Yay, we're glad. We're trying to mix it up. You know, find themes and things to... Ah! Instead of just doing, like, fast food or whatever. And just sitting here and being like, hey, guys, and having nothing to talk about. But The Hills said... Sorry, I hate... I'm, I'm sure when I tap the phone, it's <laughs> annoying. The Hills said Angel Delight was a famous dessert. Yeah, well, I think I read that. That was didn't that have like coconut and stuff? And these aren't these aren't our favorites, but I'm gonna open one up. Do you wanna share one? They're just the fun size. I haven't had one in a long time, but I'll have one. You wanna share one or you wanna hold one all to yourself? Oh no, 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 I'll share one. Tatum has but, been so bad these past few streams. Come and, here, you. And you know, you guys, I don't want you to think that we're wasteful because I do cook a lot. Because after the stream, then we give all the leftovers to our son, to my boys, to the sons. And and so this doesn't, it's not like we make it and then throw it away or anything. It's not like we waste. Because you guys don't come and get the leftovers. So. so I got these in the fun size intentionally, which they didn't make, that wasn't a thing back then. But only because they're not our favorites. And so The Hill said, no, it's a milk dessert. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we'll have to look it up. Is it kind of like a custard or a pudding? Oh, Tatum says hi. She's having a messy hair day. So am I. So, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. I braided my hair earlier, and so now my bangs are being silly, but. So the Almond Joy, when you get them, this is the, I think, fun size. So it's fun. I mean, what is it like? There's like personal size and fun size and all, all and different. family size and, and, and then. Yeah, and there's. And then travel one? size. Right. Oh, this is snack, and this is snack size. So oh, and then there's snack size, and so snack size you get one almond, and they don't center it or anything, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at her! I know, you're bad. So I'm gonna... Have oh. you heard of blomange? B l o m o n g e. Is it supposed to be bologna or something? Mm. I don't know. No, we've never heard of that. Maybe if we heard it pronounced. Mm. I um I look up the recipes by like um what was trending in certain years or what was invented in certain years or that kind of thing. Like the root beer that was the number one soda that year, but it wasn't invented that year. But like the instant mashed potatoes were actually invented that year and they were very popular as soon as they were I invented. I thought they said but we were sharing one. We are. I don't want it. I'll have my own. <laughs> so I try to, you know, mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> you would think that we don't feed this dog the way she's like. She loves food. <laughs> uh, you can buy Angel Delight. Wait, these, I don't know why the comments are not staying long today. You can buy Angel Delight ready to go on Amazon. Well, there we go. We'll have to look into it. See, but if it wasn't like the most popular or like that wasn't the trend thing or invented that year, then I probably didn't see it. <laughs> Was it Angel Delight? Oh, you just like coconut. That's why she's staring us down. Usually, <laughs> so usually... I have a midnight snack in bed, and um, 
Usually Tatum will stare me down, especially when I'm eating a cheesy chip or something like that. But usually if I'm eating a brownie or a piece of chocolate, she knows, like, because I've never given her chocolate, obviously. Um, she usually knows begging for it is, per is pointless. So usually she, like, will pay no mind when I'm eating chocolate, but she smells the coconut in this. Mm. And she loves coconut. She so. does. So this is interesting. Um, Angel, Angel Delight is a powdered dessert product, um, and it is from the U.K., it's designed to be mixed with and whisked with milk to create a mousse. So it's like an instant pudding, except lighter. Jell-O makes a product like that, that it makes like a mousse instead. Um, but the reason this wouldn't have come up was because it was introduced in 1967, and I haven't looked up anything for 1967 yet. Um, These are way better than I remember them being. I'm not a big I think coconut they person. I think it's a ratio thing because on the bigger ones, there's a lot more coconut to it. These ones are good, and I'm, I do not like coconut, but yeah. they, I like this. I think I think it's because it's a ratio because you get that bigger one and it's got that much coconut to the same amount of chocolate. Hmm. Funny. So um, okay, so let's see. Angel Delight was released in 1967 by the Bird Company in a strawberry and cream flavor. By the 1970s, Bird had doubled the market for instant desserts after a lull in popularity during the 1980s. A rival campaign featured Wallace and Gromit, which I'm assuming is somebody from England, um, uh, was run in 1999. In 2006, the brand was the best-selling line in the UK, instant cold desserts sector. The brand is now owned by Premier Foods. So there you go. So yeah, I didn't look up anything for those years, so that's probably why. But if we get to those years, and it and it hits the UK stuff, but you know, the, I remember things when I was younger that I know are no longer on the market. Jello put out a product years ago, and it was called One Two Three. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers this, but it was really funny because it was a Jello product, but what you mixed it like. Like you would like kind of like Jello and stuff, and but you okay. you actually did it with a blender, so it blended like more air and stuff into it, I guess. And I'm not sure what the difference between that and the Jello was, but it tasted different. And you'd put it like say you put it in a clear cup like this, it actually settled in three layers, without you having to like do the layers separately. And so like say uh, say say it was strawberry, the bottom would be like a clear, almost like a strawberry Jello. And the middle would almost be mousse-like, and then the top would be really light, even lighter than a mousse on the top. And I'm not quite sure what chemicals that they put in there to make that do that, but I remember, you know, some, some funny products. In fact, like I was talking about that soda, Orbitz. That was... I know, now I want to try it. I know, that was like the original boba soda. <laughs> it was a carbonate, if anybody remembers that, it was um, a carbonated soda that the boys would probably remember. And it was only around for about 10 years. It was called Orbitz. And it was a clear soda. And it was like a flavored soda water. But it had all these like little co um, colored beads in it. And say you bought like the lemon lime flavor flavored uh, soda water one. Then it would have like green or green and yellow little, these little bead things in it. But they were small. They were um, not as big as like the big bobas. So they would easily fit through, um, you know, a regular straw or anything. And it had all different flavors, and it was around for about 10 years. And then, um, I guess, it didn't, it did well, like, flash in the pan for a couple of years. But then people just weren't getting it or, or liking that you'd get these little, like, gelatin balls in your mouth. But I don't think that they were tapioca. I don't know what the balls were. I'm gonna have another little piece. Would you like a piece? I'm stuck. And you can't. Tatum's like, I'll take seven. I know. She's like, I already licked her plate clean, so. I know, sure. <laughs> I saw that tongue lapping around there. Um, There's nothing in it she can't have. So. That's true. No. Um, but I don't, yeah, that Orbit soda, I, and you know, I don't even think you could get it on Amazon because it hasn't been around, I think, since the 90s. I think that was an 80s thing. So it makes it hard when you're doing some of these because some of the products you can't even get anymore. 
Well, don't even get me started with Dunkaroos. I know. Well, Ryan used to make them for you sometimes. Yeah. But so, it's still not the same. I mean, not. it is damn near close what he made, but... Uh, I don't like tapioca. I remember it at school and it was like milk. Wait, what? Tapioca is so good. I don't like tapioca. I remember it at the school and it was like milk mixed with cat snot. <laughs> You're, he means tapioca pudding. Yeah. Give it another try, my friend. I remember he said cat snot specifically. Well, you know, it's funny you say that. My sister used to hate it, and she used to say it was more like fish eyes. <laughs> I've always loved um, tapioca. Me too. So how do you know what cat's not tastes like? I love how everyone's so mad at how specific <laughs> of a description that was. Right? Let me look it up and see if it says what the orbits were made out of. And I think it was spelled with a Z. We ordered some boba yeah. the other day. We got one of the kinds. Here it, it is. Came. Look how cool it was. Oh. See how cool it was? Orbits. Um, and you're sure that they stopped it, making Oh, it was non-carbonated. Fruit-flavored beverage product made. It looks like a lava lamp. By, it does. Yeah, I'll show it to you guys. It was clear, um, clearly food and oh, beverage company. Of, oh, it was year from Canada. Later. Oh. It was. It probably became like a choking hazard or something. It was. Oh, 1997. I, the boys would remember it though. Um, Tatum's literally laying. Let me see if I can my get hand it. is like this, and she's laying in it. Yeah, that this. was right. Uh, let me see if I can get a good picture. It's so very I can cute. Blow up. She's got her little eyes. feet on the table. Look at her little feet on the table. Though. I don't know if they can see this very good, but I'm gonna see if you guys can see this. Or you can Google it. But it was Orbit Soda. I don't know if you can see it. And those balls used to really like kind of. Stay suspended. I bet it they was didn't like just some hang sort out of choking hazard. But see how small they were? Mm -hmm. they, they were bigger than like the sprinkles like in a can, like in candy. They were like almost the size of nerds. Like that size. But they were squishy like They were boba. squishy. Yeah, that's why I was just going to see if it said what they were made out of. I got you, baby. Oh. So I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was a Canadian oh. product, I guess. Which I didn't realize that. But it was it was really cool. I mean, I know the boys liked it. Oh yeah, it was introduced in ninety seven and discontinued in ninety eight. It's a bummer. Yeah, let me see if I can see if it says what it was made out of. Oh, what were the balls in Orbit's drink? Okay, and um, the small flo floating edible balls. The drink was marketed as texturally texturally enhanced alternative beverage, <laughs> but. Uh, some Smart. consumers compared it to a potable lava lamp. Just like you just said. Um, I'm going to look it up on Wikipedia because that's probably going to say. I can't believe they only made it for a year. I know. But it made it to the United States because I even, I bought it on this backwards island that we live on that it actually made it here. Or maybe once it was discontinued, it got to like job lot <laughs> and like the discount store. No, I bought it at like Stop and Shop. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm just trying to see if it says what... Um, well, yeah, because if it says wh exactly what the drink was and what the balls were, we could remake it. I didn't realize it was... But maybe if it was carbonated, it might have uh, dissolved the balls or something. Let's see. The small balls floated due to their nearly equal density to the surrounding liquid and remained suspended with the assistance from an ingredient known as gel and gum. That sounds the like gel and gum constipate you. provided a support matrix, something like a Microsoft spider web, okay, and had visual clarity. But uh, what was it? I'm, I was trying to see what the balls were made out of. That's what they've added to the liquid to make it suspend. So what was it? I'm not from the bottle where the drink originally launched. Now they're collector's items. And they auction them off, but it doesn't say what the balls were made out of. Oh, oh, it's, no, that's saying, um, yeah, it doesn't say what those balls were made out of. I know I read it somewhere, though, before. Hmm. Why did 
did Orbitz drink fail? Orbitz is a non-carbonated fruit-flavored beverage product made by Clearly Food and Beverage Company of Canada. Makers uh, quickly disappeared poor, due to poor sales. The product website... Uh, I bet you if they brought that back, it would do well. I mean, it was... Kids loved it. I, know, I can't read what they're writing in, but hopefully somebody out there has tried it and knows what it is besides me. What was your main course? We had pork. Mom made yeah. pork and carrots and mashed potatoes, and that's what the dog was trying to they get. Were pork chops, baked pork chops. That was the thing. That was the big dinner of of the of nineteen forty six. What were the balls? They keep saying that they're. Like it's some big secret or something. Let's see. Someone did a taste test in 2019. Oh, they were they were gelatin. It says they were the balls were made out of gelatin. Gelatin floating inside. But so that's what I'm saying. So then, what was the drink that it was in? Like well, they so added whatever that chemical was that would keep them suspended to keep them at the same density. It said or something. Whatever that weird chemical was that so I'm was, sure it was probably really was good it for you. Jello? The drink itself? Yeah. I'm saying like did they add a little pinch of jello to make it a little bit thicker? And then the balls were made of like pure jello? I don't know, but I'm sure whoever came up with this probably had some nerdy science background or something and, and, and didn't have a sales pitch or, background. Right. There was no business they didn't have business sense and didn't understand really how like to hire the good people to market it and uh, I wonder if we all, if we'll all still be kicking by the time our 46 rolls around. I'm 50, wait, what? So something from an air fryer probably, wait, what's going on? Uh, I wonder how many foods or ways have cooking have been pioneered between now and 46. I wonder if we'll still be kicking by the time our 46 rolls around. Um, and 50 years times, maybe do food of 2020. What? Tacos and air fried crab meat. I'm so confused. What are you guys even saying right now? <laughs> The Hills just said air air fried crab meat. Um, I don't know. Like what's crab going on. cakes? Is it? I think we've gotten a bit lost in the <laughs> sauce this evening. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna try to reconstruct the orbit strength because oh, it's really they're, cool. They're guessing what the most popular food of twenty twenty would have been. Oh, um, okay, so last like year. Like what food you would have done, like what food we would do if we did this for 2020. Oh, 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 okay. Um, mm. See, and then, then there's like um, fast food things. Like actually, um, one of the years I was looking at, they said like McFlurry came out and it was really popular, but ha they didn't do their homework at McDonald's when they first came out with them and they were really popular. But like their ice cream, and it came out of their ice cream machine, they were always down so you could never find a restaurant that you could get them at. Which is still the case. No. Half the time. But um, what would you say would be... It's This year's tough, though, anyway, because of the whole COVID thing and all. But I know. There were so many. like Because this year felt like three in one because we were all just sitting inside trying to come up with so many things. And so there's been like a new trend every week of like... Yeah. Um... I mean, there was, um, like, the cheeseburger pizza from Domino's. But uh, but none of them have, like, lasted that, like, long enough that you'd say, oh, that was the big one of the year, you know? I know, random guy, dude. Let me just block that person because they're just, like, put user in timeout. There we go. 
Oh, is someone writing inappropriate things? No, they're just oh. saying, like, hi, baby, burping, something, like, oh. just writing it, writing it, and so, everyone knows here that when there's annoying messages, yeah. we just... So when when you block them, they can just still watch, they just can't I write it? I put them in timeout. So that means they so just can't I, write. I don't know if that means timeout from viewing or timeout from commenting or what, but... But it looks like they stopped commenting, <laughs> and that's what we wanted. You got your tennis ball? So, I don't know. What would you guys say was, was the 2020? What Were they putting up what they thought? Yeah. Um, that's that's what I had said. The comments are way gone now. Oh. Um, yeah. Hmm. I, that's why they had said, like, the crab meat and the air fryer. and seven, Oh, seven. oh, crab meat. And, yeah, and see, that's something I haven't made yet. We just no, got the No, that's what they were saying. The thing with the crab rangoons <laughs> that we made. Oh, the crab rangoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those are pretty good, too, because we use real crab meat. I don't think we're going to be making those again, though. Not anytime soon. we got too many other things to be making. Um, so I did start looking up um, the recipes from, like, what was it, um, 1899 or something, but I didn't do too much work on that yet. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what, like, food trends, because it's hard. Sometimes I blur, like, what's technically the end of 2019, with like, cause I want to say like, I think people did like, um, like a Chick Fil A quesadilla, or so, or they did a the, people did like a Chick Fil A, um, crunch wrap. Okay. I think that was trending. I think that was this year. Yeah. And oh, cloud so bread. Be, see, that's, that's what I can't remember if yeah. that was this. If that yeah, was, was twenty twenty, it, it was. It was last summer because we or did it last summer. Was, yeah. I can never remember if it was technically like the fall of 2019 yeah. or the spring of 2020. Or... So I would say cloud bread was one that kind of was a craze for a bit. Um, oh, the whipped coffee. Yeah, I couldn't remember if that was this. Uh, that was this last year. This year. Whatever, yeah, that was yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, we would just be essentially <laughs> remaking all the food that we made. <laughs> yeah, that were trending. Because <laughs> we, we did a few of those. Yeah, I'm trying to think. But, and then see, some of them, like, we don't live near, like, in and out And we don't live near... Right. And so some of them we wouldn't even, you know, we know about even, or... We don't even live near a Chick-fil-A anymore. No, we're, like, an hour from a Chick-fil-A each way. So... So it's lame. But... I think... I, it was definitely the year of the home cooking, though, because a lot of people... Had to stay, you know, didn't go out to eat as much. So definitely it was the year of the home cooking. Tatum keeps wanting me to play fetch with her, so. Yeah. So that was that. So I think that. So about we're, we're going to. Yeah, we're evenings. going to leave 1946. I'm um, full. And we're going to head back to 2021. So I guess um, Mom said our next live stream is going to be Monday Monday for a random guy dude. And we're going to do a random guy dude on Monday. So we're going to try to target again 630 Eastern Standard Time. So be there or be square, everybody. That's right. And look out for what we're not prepared. Random guy dude said that's me. <laughs> this yeah, is, I like It's going to be that. all about you. I like that, um, that we found a way to, you know, kind of incorporate, like... Yeah, it's fun. ...you guys into the content, kind of, like... Yeah. No, but we know. do like ideas, and it's sometimes... I mean, it's not your responsibility to give us ideas either, but, um, but sometimes, even if you just say something, and then we can kind of run with it. Sometimes I cheat, and I look at, like, <laughs> when big creators will tweet out and be like, oh my god, like, what do you guys want me to say? I'll look at the replies. <laughs> and see what people wanted them to do. Like, hmm, what are people saying that they want to do? <laughs> we can so, do that. They said we should do 2000. The year 2000. That'd be 21 years ago. I was in kindergarten. Well, I can't do that one on Monday because Monday we're doing random. 
and I, I already got my list of what we're doing, but we'll keep it a big secret till Monday. So, we'll see you Monday. Be Tatum. there or be square. Okay. Come on. Yep. Tate's going to come up and say goodbye to everybody. Come, come on, on, baby girl. Come on up. Come on. Now she's got her tennis ball. So <laughs> she's like, no. Every other time we can't get her out. Like, <laughs> she just wants her to play. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys on Monday.